So whenever I'm doing a pencil appreciation video that, you know, a video that just basically talking about certain brands of pencils, uh, I will print out an image and then color them with those pencils. So I do this process every single time. And that's one of the more time consuming parts about doing this video is setting it up, uh, recording it, then editing it. And just, just so I can have a quick B roll footage of me coloring during this review video. And this picture was a little bit different. So this is a two part picture. There is a top part and a bottom part. During the Uku video, uh, I just show the time lapse of me drawing the top image, which is this character ice skating. So I had an entire bottom section, which is this one here uh, of her playing the piano that was never used. So I thought, you know, I gotta use it for something. So I figured this little time lapse would be perfect uh, to display it. Okay, so let's talk about the driving force behind this uh, this whole video, which is the piano. Uh, when we look at things like the characters, like the rabbit, she's fun, it's easy. Uh, you know, we're looking at a lot of pinks and there's some fun gradients, there's, the, there's the, the fur color and the eye color. Those are easy to approach because we know how we're gonna do it. But when we're looking at big objects uh, like this piano, that's frankly boring. We have to approach it in such a way that we're going to make it fun. So what I'm doing here is I'm laying down a base brown over most of it, and then I'm going over it with a much, much darker brown. And then I'm gonna leave these little soft areas, uh, just leave them in white. But my plan is to go over it with an aggressive blender, uh, like a Calor or a Derwent I think I used. And I'm going to push the brown into these white areas. And what it's gonna do is give the illusion that I'm changing the color to a much lighter brown like a tan so you could see here that those white areas now kind of pop up with a brand new color uh, and and this now has turned the piano into something uh, that instead of me dreading it I'm actually looking forward to it because now I'm starting to ask myself what interesting things can I do in this otherwise flat and boring surface and just little things like that when we push ourselves and when we challenge ourselves it just makes it a lot more fun and I think we learn a lot more
Okay, so here I'm about to unleash on you a big mistake. Uh, I, I wanted to go ahead and make the music notes in blue. And uh, I'm just looking at the drawing. I thought it would go well because it's blue and pink, but then I want to push it to match the girl even more, so I add turquoise to it. And then when looking at it, I realized this, it was, it was clashing more than it was bringing it together. So yes, I had to bust out the eraser uh, and try my best to take as much of this color as possible. And now I'm going over it with a gray because when I really backed up and looked at it, I, I, I don't know if it was mental just uh, or, or what, but I was picturing music notes. Every time you see them, they're black or they're gray. And I, I guess I couldn't unsee that. So I'm going over this a little bit extra because not only am I trying to color them gray now, but I'm also trying to get rid of all the blue and all the turquoise that I just stuck on them. And I think that little bit of blue kind of added to it because it gave it, a little, it gave it a little something extra. And I just, I really ended up liking it. Sugar sweet.